As you probably already know, the Old Fashioned is one of the oldest, if not debatably the oldest, known cocktail. But was it always the cocktail that we know and love today? Many cocktails have a great story behind them and the Old Fashioned is no exception. Whether it's true or not is another matter, but let's not let the truth get in the way of a good story, shall we? The first published definition of a cocktail appeared in 1806 as a stimulating liquor composed of any kind of bitters, sugar and water. Sound familiar? The old fashioned really is the closest drink to that definition, but it must have gone out of fashion for it to become old fashioned. In fact, it originally went under the less judgmental and more apt name whiskey cocktail and was referred to as such for several decades. This was served up, i.e. not on the rocks, and in the morning as an eye opener, which to be honest, even I as a Scottish bartender can't quite get on board with. So what happened that this simple but delicious drink became old fashioned? Well, by the 1870s, bartenders began to have more access to other liqueurs and flavor modifiers like curacao, absinthe and maraschino. And so they all got a little bit excited and started making improved whiskey cocktails. As with any attempt at modernization, <clears throat> renewable energy, there were those that resisted it. Many places have tried to lay claim to the name Old Fashioned, the most notable of which is the Pendennis Club in Louisville, where the story goes that a grumpy local bourbon distiller asked for a cocktail the old fashioned way, i.e. none of your newfangled bullshit. So the bartender went back to the original definition of the cocktail with the minor addition of ice, which showed that the grumpy bourbon distiller obviously wasn't completely averse to all modern comforts. Unlike a lot of other classics, the Old Fashioned has never completely disappeared from view, although it has had a few wobbles through the ages. After the repeal of Prohibition, most recipes called for a veritable fruit salad to be muddled in it, probably to disguise the low quality alcohol that was available at that time. It also fell out of fashion in the 70s and 80s when vodka reigned supreme, but luckily nowadays, with our amazing boom in booze and bartending, the pared down classic is back in vogue and a twist is quite enough fruit. Thank you very much. Thank you.